the exhibition uh, covers the second half of the 19th century, a time of amazing changes in society, changes in the way things were made, changes in people's lives. So it goes from 1850 to about 1900 to 1910. And we call the exhibition Victorian Radicals, which may surprise you because you usually use those words in separate sentences. Victorian means like grandma's closet, you know, cakes, Victoria's Secret, I don't know. It has a certain feeling to it. Um, and we want to challenge that. Instead of being artists working for the king or the queen making flattering images, artists started to criticize things around them. They started to want to change the world. They started to want to make a, make a new and better world. And that's the sort of uh, radical vision that we want to get over in this exhibition. Now the second part of the title has two quite long terms in it. The Pre-Raphaelites to the Arts and Crafts movement. So the Pre-Raphaelites were a group of artists who turned their back on all their training and everything they'd been taught. And they decided to just look at the world and paint it exactly as it is. And they used this fancy name because they reckoned that the artist who stopped doing that, where the rot set in, was the artist Raphael about 400 years earlier. Everything before him was true and everything after him was false. But out of that group came a different set of um, responses to the world. They taught another generation of people who decided to turn not to painting, but to making objects, to making things, to making textiles, to making wallpaper, to making furniture, to making ceramics, in order to make a world that was more beautiful and more pure and fresher than the sort of machine-made aesthetic of the Victorian era. And eventually they came together as a group called the Arts and Crafts Movement. I hope when people walk outside uh, the, the, the exhibition, they'll still have vivid images flashing before their eyes. I think they'll probably feel they've seen something quite surprising, even shocking. Some of the colours are so bright that they're quite shocking to see in an art museum. But then, you know, when you go, um, you know, down to the grocery store, down to the local hardware store, and you see piles of ugly plastic products made in some factory somewhere in China brought in, you might want to think, is that really the best we can do? This is what these artists were asking, is, is that kind of object? And if you think of the lives of the people who made that object, probably horrible. Um, you know, can't we find a better way of making beautiful things and actually having uh, a better experience of making them? Uh, so it's not just an exhibition about looking at nice things in cases. It's an exhibition that makes us think about our relation to the world.